Hey everybody, do you love Dream Daddy? Heck sure I do. I'm surrounded by standees. If you want to come to a Dream Daddy event, May 30th at Dynasty Typewriter, that's really soon. Uh, you should come down. It's, it's going to be really fun. It's a live event. It's very chill. We're going to do some fun stuff. It's going to be hosted by me, and it's going to be featuring the Dream Daddy team. We're going to talk about development. We're going to have some fun activities. We're going to have a best dad contest. So come in your best dad gear. You're going to be competing against real life dads. And then we're also selling the uh, trade paperback copy of the Dream Daddy comic book. And we can sign it for you if you want, if you come on down. So come on down. It's going to be a fun time. May 30th. Link in the description below. Get your tickets now. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, before you start this episode, Aaron, can I just point out? Oh, no. I mean, this can be part of the episode. Oh, okay. Before you start speaking, can I just point out that um, the... The scales of justice behind uh, the judge. It kind of looks like two starry eyes and a mouth that's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it's justice. Like, it's all I can see. Or the that like the judge is wearing a very stiff hat that won't conform to the oh to yeah the curvature of his like head. A yarmulke that's yeah, kind of like a very toppling. starchy yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We're back! They kind of look like two nut sacks that are dangling down. Yeah. Anyway, the clock might have been emptied after she heard it. So yeah, the, the clock... The, the, we were just talking about how the murder weapon was a clock and she couldn't hear it because... Possibly couldn't hear it because the clockwork was taken out. It's going back and forth, man. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Hell yes, I can. Ho ho ho! Impossible, of course. I have proof. Shit. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he throws out his elbow from repeated savage pointing. Take it. Take a look at this. Hmm. That's a very cute cell phone. I want it. <laughs> Ooh, you have a girly phone. <laughs> wait, wait. This isn't my phone. I mean, it could be if you if you like that kind of thing. Listen, Listen <laughs> this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. Slap. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. <laughs> order, order. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I. <laughs> the defendant's cell phone. This wasn't brought to my attention. Oh, his pupils are moving. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. He is a dumb bastard. <laughs> The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Well, he Let's... sucks at his job and he accused you of murder. Yeah. Or, or, or her. Let's Anyways. hear the conversation. Beep. So you just want me to hold another thinker for you then? If you could. I probably should tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. Boom. Boom, baby! Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Ow! <laughs> Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel! Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> ma, ma. <laughs> Maple Sears. <laughs> ma, 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 mad madness. <laughs> Well, Miss May, how could you- would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Keep. Oh, man. What does that face remind me of? It reminds me of Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh. When, uh, Yuri- when you tell Yuri that you don't love her and she's like, ha, 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 before she stabs herself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like crazy, crazy anime face. Creepy. Yeah. Sorry, spoilers. Well, well, isn't it uh, obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I go to so many. Oops, jiggle. I forgot. Wink. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Uh, shit, what was the- what did she say? She said she had seen the clock Oh, yeah, because, before? yes, because it was custom-made by what's-his-face. Mm-hmm, yes. The witness claims she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court! Well then, let's see it, you big bad bitch. <laughs> Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. 
Um, I guess the made by Larry Butts. There we yeah. go. It's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. <laughs> and the one that isn't here is at the store. <laughs> <laughs> the one that isn't here is firmly up my ass. <laughs> Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. I think it's 3 this is, p.m. Shut up, clock. <laughs> <laughs> this is clearly before Amazon. <laughs> Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oh, dip. <laughs> That's a sick burn. <laughs> you know what? I gotta admit. Miff. <laughs> huh? Miff? Excuse is not on sale today? Ooh, oh, ho, Murph. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, she pissed. Damn, yo. <laughs> Mortal Kombat! <laughs> <laughs> What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. Day. Day, 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 day. Whoa, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh. I'll decide who lives and dies. <laughs> this is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. Her, 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 her. Oh? <laughs> oh, 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 ho, ho, silly me, Grunt. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. T <laughs> wink. <laughs> scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Get away! Damn, she's, <laughs> she pissed. <laughs> did another mm. artist draw you or something? Oh, oh, dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, your honor, allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... Oh, shit. Mm, you had heard about it. I... oof. <sighs> you held it? Well, we know that th there's someone else involved and she's getting, like, orders from someone. I think... Well, we have the wiretap. Yes, but we don't know what it says. Well, there's not a recording. It could just be like, you know, it could just be like, well, you heard about it because oh, you were yes, because Oh, the, yes, the okay, I get what you're saying. Yes, that's right. That sounds right. I don't think she's the killer. I think she's just in cahoots. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. <laughs> and I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. My loins are are perked. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Boom. Hopefully this is it. Have a look at this. Ah, uh, uh, that is it. I found this in Miss May's room. Now, how, how would this be admissible in court? Like, it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just a video game. Okay, cool. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May? You were tapping the victim, Miss Mia Face Phone, were you not? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was tapping the victim. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I wanted to tap that. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Psh. Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah, I think I can, it's simple. Dude, what? This, this is intense. Here's my proof. That's still you. It's the same, oh. The proof that the victim said on the phone is the same, it's the same thing. Okay. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen it's, once it's more. It's girly. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. My, Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me again. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like a statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock? Whoosh. Am I wrong? Hey, hey. Wait, yeah, that doesn't really prove it. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. It's pretty circumstantial. Yeah. 
Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? There is a lot of table slapping right now. The defense demands an answer. La la lurgif. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! Damn, what an insult. Yeah, that hurts. You person! You human person! It's no fair! All of you g ganging up on me like that! It's kinda hot though! <laughs> oh, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Is that it? Ganging up on me? Like, me kneeling with like five dicks around my head? Like, I've seen the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you d that di mm. uh, that did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? Why did you tap her phone? Bleh. Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping er irrelevant? Gah! She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. This isn't a tippity-tapping case, it's a mibbity murder case! <laughs> While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. <laughs> Mr. Liar, I saw that evil, evil grin. You're probably thinking I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. <laughs> well, Jiggle, you're not the first man who thought that, and of course I can and I will. <laughs> you can't be serious, no way. Way, I say, way. Oh, and I assure you I'm serious, Mr. Liar. Humph. Okay, so the killing happened around nine at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. R room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was? Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. <laughs> if you don't drink it quick, the ice melts and then you have regular cold coffee. Ew. Uh, ice coffee. Think, Jiggle, I'm making this up. Ask the bellboy, wink. <laughs> 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 Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. Wait, she said she saw it happen. Yeah. So, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands she saw the defendant Maya Fey commit murder. She just said she didn't see it! No, they're just gonna let her walk away! There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Um, well, come on, think of something. Oof. Yeah, call the bellboy as yeah. a witness. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunk in quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy. Calling the bellboy what? Wh why? <laughs> a bellboy? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss May April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent, and thereby you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. Oh, damn. That is my condition. Does he get to make conditions like that? No. Oh, okay. What? I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Oh, man. Accept the condition, I guess. Yeah. This is can't just give- can do. Can't give up. Alright, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood! I accept your condition! Hmm. Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh-oh. Huh, um... <laughs> Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. He's totally conveniently right here. In his bellboy costume. The same way he was always drawn. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Next time on Game Grumps, we're gonna test- we're gonna interrogate. Oh my god. The bellboy! I have to know how this ends. No, right? It's killing me inside. It's funny, because we already know who killed him, but... Yeah, we saw it! Yeah. Clearly Mr. White. Son of a bitch.
you want to know how it unfolds. You know what I mean? I do.